Hello, 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 Marty here. Uh, it is the 16th of September, 2024. I wanted to do a quick video because I was on a couple of webinars over the weekend and said a few things and I thought, you know, I'm going to do one for the channel. Anybody can use it if they can, because I think a lot of people will relate to what I'm saying. I've said this before, but I want to I want to go over it again. As you can see, the thumbnail says why I'm passing and why Mr. Mufara. And I'm going to give you a real quick reason. 2004, I wound up on disability. I'm not going to get into why sleep apnea caused a big lung problem. But anyway, so now I found myself, I got to make, I got to live off of 40% less than I used to make. I made okay money, but four kids, teenagers or almost teenager, uh, it's, it's not cheap. So I get online, I'm going to do the business online, anywhere from MLM, email marketing, drop ship, you ship, didn't matter. I, I did it all. And what happened was, you know, in the beginning, I would get in, find a business that I felt a little felt something like oh, this, I think this will be cool. Get in. Usually there's a kit you buy anywhere from $100 to $500. So I paid for the kit, 250, let's say, and they tell you build a list. So I build a list. Who do I ask? Go after your friends, family, you know, people you know. What do I do when I ask them? Well, I'll give them this link and Here's what and they would give you a script, which really sounds unique, right? It sounds personable. I'm reading a script, but I'm not even sure I agree with what I'm saying. But anyway, I did it, and, um, and then I realized, wait a minute, I brought in some of my family, my friends. I don't think they're going to do this. I told them, hey, well, you can build. Let's build together. You do this. I don't want to do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. So I was building for everybody I brought in, or at least trying to. And I couldn't even do it for myself. So now I've got a job that pays zero. Not only pays zero, I'm paying to be in it. Didn't know that at first. And I thought, okay, I could deal with that. You know, there's a learning curve. And when I get it, I'll make money. This went on. The first one, either the company failed or people started dropping off. And what happens is month two, you have a uh, auto ship. And now I'm starting to realize as time goes on, you know, months and months and then turns into years, there's tools you need to be, to be able to work online, to be able to even, just like any other business, you want to be a surgeon, you want to be a carpenter, you want to be a farmer, you need tools to help you move forward. So, okay, I get it. Now, this is my little personal journey. So I get in, I'm, I'm learning little things. I need this, I need that, I get it. Now, remember, I'm broke. So I don't have a big budget. And the big one was traffic. How do I get traffic? Fourth or fifth, you know, third or fourth business, my family doesn't want to have anything to do with me. I'm not going to them. They won't even invite me to a picnic at this point, right? So, but I'm still looking at the system, the MLM, and I'm going, I get it. That would work. What's missing? So, anyway. Traffic exchanges I've done, which is somehow to get traffic. But what it really is, is everybody sits around this big fishing, this, this bowl of fish, and we're all fishing in the same pond. I'm trying to get you to grab my fish, and you're trying to get me to grab yours. It's, it's like insanity. So I thought, I know, I'll buy a traffic exchange, cheap. I bought the script at eBay, and I had some lady do graphics. It was really cheap. And I um, hosted it for like $10 a month, really. I had to raise it because 
I was getting people into it, which is cool. But what advantage did I have other than I could leave a banner at the top of the business I'm promoting all the time. It didn't move all the time. Okay. Didn't do anything. Turned into another job. So I just keep giving my mouth myself more and more jobs. It wasn't funny at the time, but anyway, another month goes by another month, six months. I'm going, okay, I got a, a year goes by two years. And we'll do solo ads. So I do solo ads, 200 bucks, 200, 200 guaranteed hits. That means 200 people are going to click on that link. They guarantee it. Sometimes I think they got a chimpanzee going click and they give them a banana because most of the time nobody signed up. Now, once we're, oh, you're in the wrong solo ad. There's better ones. There's top-notch ones where the big boys go. I fell for that, too. So I went in, paid more money. I started getting a couple of people signing up. I'm done. I got it. I found the secret sauce. Well, reality is they signed up, but they didn't buy anything. It's a joke. Then once why I, as I kept going, because I mastered leveraging, so I would go, at one point I had 50 Twitter accounts and I had a way of auto tweeting. So I'm putting stuff out there like, like clockwork. It's like a, like a windmill. I'm throwing so much crap on the wall. Something's got to stick, but how efficient is that? And then even if I did start to build teams, which I did, how am I going to duplicate that? Marty, you're building a team. Help me. Okay, here's what I want you to do. And I explained to them what I did. And they're going, I'm not doing that. I don't even know what you're talking about. You sound like you're insane. You're right. Because while, even when I'm telling them, I'm going, nobody's going to freaking do this. Anyway, so that went on and on and on and on for years. And, and I was too dumb to quit. I was not... I don't want to say that, but I just knew the concept would work. But why are they making it so difficult? And I'm looking at these gurus, the 1%, 2%, and they're doing very, very well, but it's kind of a click. So at that point, as years went in, I would go meet them. Somehow I would be chatting with them. I learned enough where they would even listen to me, even took the time. You know, I'm, I'm a number, but I'm a high number, I guess. And I'm listening to him talk and all this, and I'm going. And I realized in a lot of the cases, they get the big names, they look good, they dress nice. They would get in a business with a buddy they know from another business, and they had a following, a very dedicated following, because the the guy or the woman is kind of a nice person. And you 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 build that following. You just keep working on the following. And you move from one to another to another to another every six months or a year. And people follow. That's not me. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. So 10 years ago, I run into, I was in a meeting arguing with somebody. The guy that was running it, nice guy, but there was this little dark cloud feeling all the time. Like once you master what it is they want you to do, everybody else just becomes a number. It, it tore me up. I, I just, I'm starting to look at it like this isn't what I thought. I was naive. So I get a hold of Mike gets a hold of me. What are you doing? Hey, I like what you said. No. So we team up and, and we're doing stuff. We did different businesses. Then we got to the point I said, wait a minute, I got to find out how to drive traffic. It's possible. People are doing it. I gotta, I gotta learn how to market. We'll actually drive my own traffic. New people daily. But I'm broke. So Dan, Mike's friend is Dan Street. Dan wasn't rich, but he had more money than me and Mike. Okay. But he wanted to be involved. And he's a very good writer. 
and he's the most level-headed of all three of us. I mean, I'm a maniac. Mike's a pit bull, and he's normal. <laughs> but anyway, Dan gave me his credit card after about a couple of weeks because we build a trust. You know that from here. This is part of the reason why I'm in non-passive, part of the reason why I'm Misty McFarland. That's part of it. Just, I'm going to get to that. So I get into Facebook, and I mean get into it. I look online, marketing online. I met a guy. I watched him. He was doing stuff. I go, and I would ask questions. I am not worried about being the dumb guy in the room. You're going to stay the dumb guy in the room if you don't ask questions. I wasn't worried about not being able to figure it out, but I need to know where am I going. It's like, oh, figure it out. You can't figure out what you don't know you don't know. So I asked him, what ads? What are you doing? What's it called? Facebook lead ads. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. So at that point, I go to Google and Zoom and I mean, Google and YouTube, and I'm reading about it. Well, I punch it in Facebook.